Hi dear students, I am Dr. Mashu. Welcome to my class. Today I would like to discuss secondary treatment of wastewater or biological treatment of wastewater. So in the last class we had discussed about primary treatment of wastewater that is physical treatment of wastewater. In this class we are going to discuss about secondary treatment of wastewater and that is also known as biological treatment of wastewater. It's because of we are used adapting uh, biological methods to treat water in this secondary treatment that's why it's called as a biological treatment of wastewater. The effluent from primary treatment uh, is entered into the secondary treatment plan for the treatment and in this secondary treatment this colloidal and soluble form of organic molecules were removed and in secondary treatment of wastewater a variety of organisms were involved for example bacteria, fungi, Algae, protozoa were involved in secondary treatment of wastewater. Under the favorable condition, this complex organic molecules will be converted by these organisms into simpler and less harmful compounds and elements. These large number of orga microorganisms present in a small reactor can be able to digest the organic materials in a small interval of time and are ideal condition. For the treatment of wastewater, in secondary treatment, we are using two methods like aerobic and anaerobic methods so in biological treatment of wastewater we are using two methods so it's divided into two uh, two that is aerobic method and anaerobic methods and it's further classified into two one is attached growth system and another one is suspended growth system and in suspended growth system these microorganisms involved in this treatment will be under in a suspension and in attached growth system, this microorganism responsible for the treatment will be in attached form. That means it is formed as a biofilms. And we will discuss process involved in aerobic and anaerobic methods in the in separately. So thank you for